How y'all doing? This is Kuya Saif of TheBatalaProject.com And today is an okay episode of Translation Tuesday. Today we're just gonna talk. Just, you know, you and me. Talking. Right. Cool. Comfortable? Good. Alright. Well, what are we talking about? We're talking about modern barbarian versus traditional barbarian. This usually comes up when it comes to translation. And really, this comes down to basic preference. Like, what would you prefer? The traditional Baibayan uses the 17 basic character system and no cross glutlets, while modern translation considers 17 character system as well as cross glutlets and maybe some modified characters. This includes the ra, the ja, the ch sound. Um, there are various character set, modified character sets to achieve more modern westernized sounds. The problem is that a lot of these modern characters haven't been standardized. Like, if you look at Paul Morrow's fonts, if you look at Nordanx's fonts, if you look at um, the Rizal, it's like the Rizal something, the Rizal fonts, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but they have different character sets to express similar sounds, but the actual character stroke hasn't really been defined yet. So what I use is, I use a 17 basic system and I also do use the cross goodlets when I write by buying. So that's about as modern as I get it until the by buying community can really settle on a single decision as to what the modern by buying sounds and characters and finalized strokes are going to look like. And when that happens, I guarantee I'll be on top of it. Some people choose modern by buying because it sounds more expressive you can achieve more sounds as opposed to as opposed to traditional bye bye where you will drop off any consonant that doesn't have an accompanying vowel with it for example ma bu hai in traditional you just write it as ma bu ha there's no y at the end because there's no accompanying vowel with the y and there's no ya it's not yeah yo he yo none of that but um with modern bye bye you could achieve that y because it has the cancellation good lit so you could write it as ma bu ha and then with the y and grass goodlit ma bu hai so you might ask yourself why would anyone want to use traditional babayan well this really goes again towards personal preference and this is more of a cultural thing because the cross goodlit was a spanish invention it was um and some see it as a mark of the spanish influence and colonization some see it as a, a bastardization of Baibayan, and some see it as as like the cross gula just not really being a part of the original Baibayan system. So they would rather opt for a more traditional sense, you know, for as far as cultural ties and maybe spiritual ties as well. The decision is really up to you. What would you rather have? Would you rather have um, modern or would you rather have traditional? It's it's really up to you. So uh, make that decision on your own. Um, there's a lot more information you can find out about it. Check out uh, babayan.com. Check out my website, thebatalaproject.com. And you can just type in or Google uh, Babayan. And you can look up uh, Paul Morrow and Hector Santos. And they have tons more information than me. So regarding the history of Babayan. But yeah, hope that clears a couple of issues for you guys. Uh, this is Kuya Saif of thebatalaproject.com. And see you next week. See you later.